we have to distinguish the two things between uh, um, great wines uh, and good wines. Good wines, uh, they can uh, they can even be a little bit more international in the more understandable way. Let's say uh, you have new areas from like south of Italy, from Puglia, in which you can produce very good wines uh, that are have a good price quality ratio and uh, that have a certain character. They, they, they are not too expensive, they use uh, local varieties, uh, but they are made in a style that is more understandable. To produce great wines, um, yes. What you say international is right, but um, they have to have a personality and the personality can only come from, the, from the terroir mm. and from the person that produces mm. it, and from the variety obviously. So it's a very delicate... Yes. And uh, so really what you're saying is that um, all wines, apart from great wines, are eventually going to become international, well, really. Uh, Everything no, is no, going no, that no, way, no. I mean, it? I wouldn't look at this as globalization kills uh, all the taste. This not, because even in the good wines, when you use local varieties, you think of varieties from... Uh, from Puglia or from mm. uh, Sicily or from uh, Sardinia or from uh, all the regions in Italy have their own varieties. So they do have their own character. I think it could be a little bit more the style. Mm. Uh, there can be, you know, there are not fashions but uh, tastes that are evolving. There was uh, a movement from uh, 20 years ago, uh, lower alcohol, uh, onto wines that had a richer amount of alcohol that was softer, um, that were more, uh, in a certain sense, more jammy. Now things are going back. It happens in the great wines, but obviously it reflects also on the. On the There's more a pendulum, everything. isn't there? Which, yes. Um, which but it's back. it's also it's it's uh, it's the same. It's the taste of people who are changing. Mm. Uh, the issue could be, uh, should these things follow, without extremes? But it's obvious that they do. No, uh, if the if Food, food habits change, if the lifestyle habits change, it is obvious that uh, also taste evolves and uh, not going <laughs> only following the taste of uh, the needs of the taste of people. If, if you could make wines anywhere in the world, where, where would you go? What would be the, the most interesting region in the world? Well, we have Apart vineyards. Apart from your own, of course. Yeah. Well, we have vineyards in many places in the world. I think that at the end, um, the idea with which we uh, we have some cases bought, some cases joint ventured uh, with uh, with these others was always to uh, learn something more, understand uh, um, different varieties in different places, understand different people. But in fact, making wine is something that is very linked, at least in our case, with your history and with your so. Tuscany at the end is is really something something special, and uh, at least for us. And uh, I think that we you go around the whole world. We are very lucky to have, as I said, vineyards in many places. But at the end, the DNA is 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 close to home. <laughs>